Greet you all in the highly exalted, wonderful, precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome to the book of Romans. Turn our Bibles to Romans chapter 9 and verse 15. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. This is the ultimate answer of God to his own own loving somebody and hating somebody. Paul understood scripture so beautifully and so balanced by the blessed help of the Holy Spirit that he balanced scripture with scripture. And that is the reason why he didn't come to unbalanced extreme conclusions that God is only loving or God is unjust. This is a safe way of handling scripture where uh, we uh, talk about the mercy of God. And then in verse 15 he says, For he says to Moses, And I will have mercy on whom I have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. Mercy and compassion can never be demanded. They are totally the gift and the volition of the giver. Suppose uh, uh, we, we apologize and the one to whom we apologize has every right to turn down our apology. You cannot demand being apologized. It is totally in the volition of the person who apologizes, who, who forgives us. There are certain things that you can never demand. We have a wrong understanding that just because I confessed I am worthy that he should forgive me. We are not worthy that he should forgive us just because we confessed. But because of his grace, he forgives us. We never become worthy because we confess. Thee. We can never become people worthy to be forgiven. Nobody can ever become worthy to be forgiven by anybody else. Just because you do something, forgiveness comes out of the total wholehearted volition of the one who forgives and that's the reason why here he very clearly says I will have mercy on whom I have mercy why is it's my will it's my wish I just want to show mercy so I'll show mercy I just want to be compassionate to somebody why is this it's my will you just can't question it Nobody can question your mercy. Somebody, somebody comes and says, why do you show them so much mercy? You say, it's my wish, my will. And, uh, you know, when a person is giving away his treasure, he says, I give more to this fellow, I give less to this fellow. Somebody asks him, why? He says, it's mine. I can give. What right do you have over my distribution of property? I can give it to somebody who is not worthy. I can give it to somebody who is worthy. It's all left to me. I have complete charge over my mercy and over my compassion. So when we think that just because you apologize somebody genuinely, you cannot demand mercy. Even after being genuine in your apology, you are worthy not to be forgiven. This is what Apostle Paul is trying to present here. David understood this truth. He said, Lord, I have sinned. Let your hand fall upon me and my family. The one who knew God so beautifully. The prodigal son understood this. Jesus was presenting this so beautifully in the parable. And that man, uh, the younger son comes and he says, have sinned against you. Not worthy to be called your son. Make me as one of your hired servants. He doesn't say, I want you to make me. You have to make me. You have every right to turn down my request and say, I don't want to make you a hired servant. I want you to get out. And the son is worthy to leave that place. Don't take God's grace or people's forgiveness lightly because Though you think you are worthy, somebody forgives you out of their own vision.
a loving, living, gracious Heavenly Father. Thank you that out of your wish and your will and your mercy, you forgive us. And that we can't demand your mercy or your compassion, but you just show it to us out of your will. Thank you for being so favorable to be disposed towards us. For so favorably, so favorably, O oh Lord, acting towards us in forgiveness time in and time out. I worship you, Lord. Help us to live in response to this love of yours, this mercy of yours. Never to take pride in our worthiness because it's never because of who we are, but it's all because of who you are. Jesus' name we pray. Amen.